Well, the CW is cooking up a recipe for disaster in this insane cooking competition series where chefs are put to the test under bizarre conditions that could range from cooking on the sinking cruise ship to even going back to the Stone Age to create a modern dish. Now, I caught up with host and judge comedian Anne Pornell to share how you can tune in and get yourself some cooking fun. Take a look. Look at you and your sunshiny face. Glad to have you on your show. Are you um, channeling your Barbie pink era today? How oh, did you know? How did you know? It's Barbie summer and we're all here for it up in Toronto, Canada. <laughs> and we're all here for it here down in Miami, Florida. We'd love to see it. This show, a recipe for disaster. Okay, so I've seen nothing like this before on TV. People cooking in teams while trying to make what? A lobster risotto in a bouncy house. How is this possible? It's basically that you absolutely nailed the description. I don't know how it's possible. I just watch chefs be inundated with disaster after disaster. And yes, they did make beautiful risotto. And uh, <laughs> it's wild. It's wild. I can't even tell you. I can't wait for people to watch this show. We love wild. And what are some of the craziest challenges viewers can expect to see from the chefs throughout the show? Well, every single episode takes us to a different fantastical world. So for example, one episode we might be on Mars and the things they will have to do on Mars, well, you're up in space, so you gotta fight gravity. And so we will have our chefs not be touching the ground. I don't think I've ever seen a cooking reality show that's featured professional chefs in harnesses just dangling above their cooking station. But that's the sort of thing you can expect on Recipe for Disaster. Forget Naked and Afraid, forget Fear mm. Factor, forget Survivor. This is truly like next level. May the odds ever be in their favor. Why should viewers tune in? You should tune in because it's just watching the best parts of a cooking show. You make beautiful dishes. You see professional chefs do the thing they're best at. Also while being slimed. Also <laughs> while being launched into the air. Also while having hay thrown at them. So they are physically using their bodies to protect their plates. It is truly unlike anything I've seen before. And if you love mischief and mayhem and good food, tune in. It's a party. So, Anne, you are a certified, self-identified foodie. You love food, right? I love food, but I'm not good at making it. Same girl, me too. You're, you're, you're singing my song. If you could cook anything, Anne, because I always want to ask people, okay, you say you're not a cook, but I'm not believing that. I think you may have some tricks up your sleeve. You've been on a lot of shows, you've hosted a lot. Also, you're, you're very funny. Guys, Thank here you. in Miami, Anne is incredibly funny, but what is your favorite thing to cook if by some stretch of the imagination, you get the, the inkling to make something for yourself. Oh, wow. Okay, put me on the spot. I will say, I'm, I'm gonna go with something really classic and really home. I'm gonna say sinigang, which is a Filipino soup that's tamarind based and no one makes it like my mom and she won't even tell me how she makes it. So I'm gonna try to get her to tell me her secrets and that's what I wish I could cook. A sinigang like my mom, but She's not letting me know. So. <laughs> Here's to you, Anne, and all the fun you're gonna have with this show, and congratulations. Always love having you on Insights Off Florida. Thank Be you. well. <laughs> you too, Jason. Thank